she's all all the hair is laying right and all that good stuff. Bug spray if it's appropriate for that time of the year. The back pad it consists of a saddle, girth, tugs, both sides, your britching, oh sorry, and your crouper. This is what you put on first. Here's the withers of the pony. That pad or saddle goes right behind the withers. Nobody likes a tight belt. Snug, but, but not, not tight. tight. You don't want a tight belt. Nobody likes that. Okay. Richard is set for this pony correctly. That's where it goes. Unbuckle the crouper. Put it underneath. That should be snug too, but not tight, right? Well, can you see that? Can you with her, like that yeah. finger. Can we pull the tail across yep. and just see exactly how you want us to have it? Okay. Yep. And you uh, want to make sure there's no hair on the tail. See how I'm pulling it out? Okay, I saw that, yeah. Okay, think yeah. wedgie. I'm sorry, I pulled your tail back <laughs> too far. Talk to the director. But you don't want any hair under this cooper at all. Gotcha. <laughs> this is your breast collar, have sewn in traces, and this is what attaches to the cart when she actually pushes the cart, she does not pull it. So she goes behind the cart and pushes it? No, because actually, no, I know. <laughs> added information, <laughs> is that they're actually pushed against the breast ah. collar, so they're actually pushing the cart, not pulling it. Because they had to pull it, in the true sense oh, of the I word, gotcha. okay. they would not be able to do the job. Not pull as much as they do. Right. Okay. <clears throat> you want the breast collar above the, see the shoulder is here? Yep. You want it above it, but not so high, that's going to cut a wind off. This has got padding, so you can't see really where the breast collar sits exactly. Oh, okay. But you gotta it's go okay. By, you got to go by the leather, not right. the... Right. Uh, because if I drop okay. the, the hole, everything will be down here. Right. And it is on the last hole. Up here on top. Here it's not. Yeah. But if okay. I raise it up... Okay. You don't know, want just one side. Keep it simple. <clears throat> Traces. Put it over the back like that. We don't want to be on the There we go. With reins attached and a side check. <clears throat> you put the reins on her back so you don't step it on. And I remember you told me put the bridle on before you hook up the cart. Yes! Yes, <laughs> number one. Rule number one. Rule number one. There are exceptions to that rule, but just stick to it. Just apply. There's no exceptions. <clears throat> in this in this world there are no exceptions. She's a good girl. She's a lovely girl. She's a lovely girl. We'll tell Kenny she needs to trim. A bridal path for her. Yes, absolutely. I see it's It'll be done. Okay, I'm putting the check on her now so we don't have to worry about her <coughs> putting the what? putting the, the check, check on her. So she doesn't have to worry about her getting her head down and trying to eat stuff and 
Oh, is that what that's for? That's one reason. Oh, okay. Now, if they get the, I know when I'm riding, if they get their head down, they can buck me off. But if they get their head down with the carriage, they can get away from you? They can check, buck over the shafts. Oh, that's, you know, <coughs> the, they can check does a lot of things. If they get their head down, they can kick and buck and, yeah. okay. But the check prevents that. It, it minimizes, oh, it minimizes it. Okay, there's your throat latch. You want to make sure you can get your fist in there. So, what do you what do you got? Like three fingers? Or yeah, like that. Make a fist oh, okay, like that. okay. I so see. When they flex their neck, they can breathe. Are you gonna choke them to death with too tight? Chances not. No, but you think how you would feel if you had a tight tie on or a necklace. The nose band, can yep. you say that again, please? Nose Tighten band. up the nose band. Or cavus is another name for it. And you want to snug, not tight. Okay. Come here, baby girl. Then you take your rings and you run them through your carrots, which are these big rings on top of the saddle. The carrots in a castle. Tarrets. T U R R E T T S? Okay, turrets. Think yes. turrets in a castle. Yes. Yes. Again, Pete, put these reins up over her back so you're not stepping on them. Okay, now we're going to goes over top of the strap that go to the um, open check. What is that so called check, again? Your check straps are under your draw straps. Oh, under, not over. Yeah, like right. I made a boot. Okay. Draw oh. straps are under. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah under. It was over. Okay. Check straps go under, under the, the jaw, jaw straps. Yeah, so on both sides. Right. Under the yeah. It prevents it from flopping around. How you doing? I forget. Anyway, this is the cart. I don't know what's there. I always touch them lightly. Right. Even my horses who've been riding 20 years, I did the same thing. Let them know what's going on, right? Right, correct. Then you put the shafts. Because she's little, you can do this. Right. <coughs> and you hook up the bridging. What? The bridging. This right is right side. here. Is your whole call the whole back that? strap? We're gonna get it on this side. <coughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. I will talk through it again. Okay. But you uh, snap your bridging. That's your brake, folks. No bridging, no brakes. Unhappy pony. You put a little bit through the whole back strap. Showing time on the other side. Yeah. <coughs> Have a snap here on your whole back strap. Reach over here. And you snap it to your bridging. No bridging, no brakes. No bridging, right? Again, you don't want this too tight. And eh, cart's running down here. Let me yeah. hold the cart. No, no, it's alright. Okay. But <coughs> if it's uh, this is cart is already adjusted to her. But if it's really tight, see how they're always getting this kind of thing going on. What on the butt? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At your brakes. Then you take your your traces. Traces. Okay. Let me Go get through it. I'm putting it through part of the whole back strap. Oh, wait, we gotta watch this one. Okay. It is the same on the other side. Okay. Right. What are you doing now? Putting it through the whole back. This strap here is called the whole back. Just the last. Okay. Yeah. If you did not have sewn in traces, you can put it on the car and just leave them there. Mm. Then you put it through this. Bring that loop there. These all just keep the cart from sliding around. I hope it's I got him in the second hole. Second one. And this is your <coughs> I don't really what the technical. This is called Tilbury Tug. No, there's one on the other side, the right? Yeah, that's the two straps up here. That's a Tilbury Tug set up. It means the shafts are free-floating in the tub. 
So you get the cart and maybe go up and down a little bit and slide back and forth. Mm. Tugs are last. Yes. Tugs are, yeah, the two last, yeah, I'll after the, the girth. I mean, that well, after. You really should get shafts stops for a cart when a tuber comes up. I'm sorry, what? Shaft stops. Shaft stops? Yeah, it's a piece of metal. Huh? A piece of metal that goes right about here. That one end sticks out like that. Right. And a tug goes in front of the the thing that sticks out. Oh, right. And it keeps the cart from sliding forward. Because this setup. Oh, this step, yeah, <coughs> this pole here going back and forth. Yeah, this is called that. shaft. Right. The shaft stop would stop the, the whole thing with stick here. Right. Would help keep the cart from sliding too far Where forward. Where do you get those? I guess any harness place? Um, any harness place. Oh, harness place. Yeah, yeah you have to go deal with them. Maybe find them on the internet, eBay. The real big Okay, she is now officially hooked. I'll show you in the way. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's your rings. Over there. Right? So now, now we're going to unhook her. Take the trace off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a good girl. <coughs> Undo your pull back strap, unsnap it. Pull your trace through. Trace is first. And you then you back. unsnap, unbuckle <coughs> your tug strap. That's one side. Remember the R2 side? And yes, we do. We should get that somewhere. And snap the trace. I can see forgetting that. Yeah. Snap the trace and snap the friction. Pull it through. Put it over her back. Unbuckle. <coughs> you tug strap. Pick up the cart and pull it off. Raise it up and pull it off. Okay. Do not remove the bridle while she's still hooked to the cart. Okay. Ever. <clears throat> Got that. <laughs> uncheck her. And then uncheck her. Now, it's a good thing she was checked when she had her little moment, right? Yes. Yes. Because then she would have been able to go sideways, up and down. Yeah. Okay. Now you undo the breastplate, you unbuckle it. Just for information, if she's the only one that uses this, you can leave it buckled up and just slip it over her head okay. without having to constantly move this. Put the rings out. From those turrets. From the turrets. My assistant will take the reins. Undo the. I will take the uh, breastplate if you like. Yeah. You have two assistants. And you undo the girth. And you say. Slide this over. And then down. Okay. Very good. Very good. So you put your harness on the whole harness, the but whole harness. Yeah. and but not the traces. Yeah. Oh, but the tra traces. Yeah. And then her. give me the back pad. <clears throat> you check her, and then you just ground drive her. This is really. This is 
is like basic 101 step. Okay, we're gonna pretend it's all on. You can either put your reins through the tarics, or you can put them through the tugs. Uh huh. <clears throat> Since she's on the green side, I put them down the tugs. That way, the lines go around her hip. So if she starts swinging around, you can use that line to stop her, and you can keep her going straight. And just and she's little forward. enough, me, you can walk to the side of her if you're worried about her kicking at yeah. you. Which she probably, I don't, I don't know her that well. Or she's a she's a well-behaved pony. Really her, um, This pony's kick range is probably about six feet. The average horse is fifteen feet. Okay. That's full extended kick. All right, great. Oh, she's happier now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>